<coughs> well, my good friends of YouTube, it's been a long time since I've done one inside the youth garage. Um, what it is, um, been busy, as you know, uh, with other stuff, and COVID-19 doesn't help with uh, doing other stuff and trying to get things done that you want to do for yourself. But anyway, I've got a capacitor which I had come from AliExpress. Um, it's 35,000 volts DC, very nice. And I've put it on the X-ray transformer because I want to basically see what it's like. Um, I think it cost me about like nine pounds, I think, something like that. I've got another one as well, which is for my, well, I got it because it was nice and it was cheap. I think this was about a fiver. It's 800 volts DC, five UF at 60 amps. Not bad. I like these little doorknob caps. And yeah, this one, I don't want to touch it. I might be able to just quickly just arc it out because I have messed about with it. And you never know when you arc a cap out, it still has that re residual capacitance as it flows around the windings. Um, so yeah, so let's have a look what uh, microfarads it is or whatever. It's 60 amps at 0 0.035 US. <laughs> Not bad. So, let's get it on the old X-ray transformer of 150 kV. I'm not going to put that through it because it would just explode and I don't want to damage it. I'm just going to put it through. I'm not going to put it through an IGBT or anything like that, you know, to power it because it's, I just need a bit of voltage. Um, so I thought I heard somebody shout me. So I'm going to use my ZVS. Here's my ZVS, which I've got a fan on it going through that to give me an output of just two wires instead of three phase because that's what it's basically like three wires coming out now it's not three phase of course uh, but you know you know what i mean you guys who know so there's my x-ray transformer there's my cap there's my little spark gap don't want it too big uh see what it does so da -da -da -da. so i'm running it through the variac put dc on And let's crank it up. Watch your ears, guys. If you've got earphones on, please be careful. Let's get me long screwdriver, which is rated for um, 200 kV. <laughs> it's still, I've seen a, I don't know if there's, there's anything there, but you never know. Well, I basically got this cap because I thought I could probably power up a little coil with it, Tesla coil, and it's not bad. When I first powered this up, I left the gap quite big, um, which I shall show you in a minute. It's, uh, there we go. See, it focuses straight away because I'm using an iPhone. Always the best. I was an Android guy at one point and uh, I got sick of my phone freezing, even though it's a Galaxy Note 10. I mean, what the F? So, yeah, so uh, I'm now an iPhone, uh, iPhone user. I've even got the bloody watch and the tablet because I love them so much. Because they work as they're intended to. So let's open the gap up on the transformer with my fingers. And, uh, oh my God, guys, I swear to God, I'm gonna put my earphones on because it really is that loud. I mean, it's not like I'm, um, you'd think I was powering something up like that, 150 kV, but no. It's just a little tiny farty thing like this. I got asked by you guys, and when are you doing another high voltage video? Well, here we go. <laughs> All right, where's my earphones? Where's my ear protectors? My ear defenders? Where the friggin' hell are those, actually? No, the garage is just full of effing F. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my channel clean. <clears throat> Which, is, of course, is never the case normally. Uh, there's my tools. Where's my, uh, where are the bloomin' hell's my ear defenders? Oh, my God, I've got that much stuff in here. That's a bin. <laughs> And the phone goes, no! <laughs> uh, 
Me welder. It's not on there. It's looking around me. Well, well, I'm just gonna have to put my fingers in my ears of some sort. Right, let's crank it up. Kneel down on the floor. Do you know? <clears throat> There was one time when I couldn't even get under here. I couldn't even get down on the ground because um, I had my lad's bloody rabbit cage in here. And it frigging stunk a bloody rabbit way. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to frigging clean the carpet. And I had to scrub the carpet. I thought I'm going to have to rip that thing up. But thankfully, no. Right, so listen to this. Things to put in the ear. One of those lugs. You know these lugs? Shave quickly. I've got one of these put in the ear. Hold on, because I put one in one side. Because you have to protect your hearing because you've only got it once. Just wait for it to. There you go. God damn! Why didn't sound healthy on that, don't they? Jesus Christ! Now I'm going to knock that out and that is going to go bang. Watch your ears. Did you hear the windings of that then? I don't like being open circuit there. That's the only trouble. These sort of capacitors. Foil wrapped. Let me just bring it together a bit more because I think that might have been a bit too big for it. Jesus Christ. I can't believe how that was then. <coughs> Again. You know what I mean? <laughs> As I pull them out. <clears throat> right, I'm going to, um, at some point, I mean, I was talking to uh, John Dragonman, a friend of mine. Um, about, uh, I wanted to do an IGBT induction heating today because um, I basically, um, in my, some video that I did quite some time ago, I did the induction heating where I got metal to melt and I want to do it again, but I want the metal to pour. <laughs> I want it to pour out, yes, because that will be awesome. And of course, I'm waiting for some I'm trying to get some ferrite rods cut. Um, I'm just still waiting on an email because um, the ones I had some, some time ago, unfortunately somebody offered me some money for them. I couldn't say no. And I wish I'd never got rid of them. But now I'm gonna, hopefully this company is gonna cut some up for me and send them over to me, which is from China, which is, yeah, it's a bit, a bit, bit of a distance. I mean, I'm gonna have to walk and go and fetch them. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Would you walk? like 6,000 miles or whatever it is, or well, might be a bit more than that, I don't know. Uh, 6,000 miles to walk and get some ferrite rods. Yes, I would. <laughs> oh, blimey, I think it would take me a few years. But there, <clears throat> I've got these ferrites, or some more ferrites uh, come. Um, fingerprints on them, they're not marked. Uh, I've got that really nice big ferrite, which is a beast, which I'm hoping to do a massive, I want to make me a massive transformer again and see if we can pull some arcs on it. This is quite a nice, nice uh, ferrite. Uh, they're U cores, they are. Same as the, these U core, U core. There's the U core, U core, as you can see, as it's a, a U. Made myself some caps, as you do. Uh, just, you know, potting them out. COVID-19, made myself a nice big large cap there. That works quite well, actually. <clears throat> All glass, of course. So, <clears throat> yeah. I thought I'd share that with you guys. Just put a bit of more high voltage into my channel. And I'm looking to build another coil as well, where I've got, I've just wound that beast just there, which is quite a big one. Yeah, you know it makes sense. That's another one I did. It's pretty cool, isn't it? This was actually a resistor out of, uh, housed a resistor inside of it for a transformer that was at the scrapyard. And uh, of course, I wrapped some um, sticky back plastic around it uh, just to block some of the holes up where the uh, mineral oil would go through. 
and made myself a nice little coil. I mean, you can get some nice streamers out of that. Uh, this is what I've basically been doing. Uh, made another, uh, I did these some time ago, wound these little ones just to make two. That one's upside down. So yeah, look, two of the same. <laughs> nice bobbins there. These are little top loads. Nice little breakout point there, look. Pure aluminium. Oh God, yeah, look at that, some badass. Yeah, look, uh, that's a top load, a uh, light bulb. <laughs> no, that is for death. That's carnage, that is, at some point. Maybe when John comes down uh, from Brummyland. So, yeah, it's a nice long coil there. That was made from two uh, round plastic containers, long plastic containers that had those, like, false flowers in. Cleaned them all up and stuck them together with some epoxy. And, yes, yeah, so you can actually just see the join about... There, if you can see that. Yeah, well, yeah. So, <clears throat> I'm not gonna bore you guys anymore. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please subscribe.